Calendmin is all about working correctly and efficiently. And now we're going to see how we can use it for our benefit. In this demo, we're going to transfer an empty database with the content of lookup tables only. Here's a story. We would like to copy the entire database from development to test. All the tables should be empty with exception of lookup tables, since we need their content in the test database. So, we are already connected to the database sales in development. We'll turn on the search documentation option to search the object belong to the lookup tables subject. Now we can mark all the lookup tables and swiftly copy them to the test database. Let's turn the search objects option and now that all the objects are displayed, we can compare them to the test database. As you can see, the comparison results shows us all the objects that are not in the test database. All we need to do now is to mark the objects and easily transfer them to the test database. Oh, and don't you worry about dependencies, it's not an issue, since we can retransfer the objects that were not transferred. That's it, we did it in no time. Way to go! Now, we will demonstrate how to distribute changes of a specific version. Okay, let's go. We have to transfer all the changes made in sales database, in development, for the current version that were transferred to test but were not transferred to production. We are going to click on the search button and the changes are being displayed. As you can see, the changes may include changes to data as well. A drop script is marked in red. Clicking on the transfer button we can easily distribute the changes to numerous databases at once by marking the databases and clicking OK. Now that we are in the transfer screen, we can safely test it before distributing the changes. The test went through fine. Now we can do the actual distribution. Let's see how easily we can find a desired object, compare it to its previous version and restore it. The scenario. The sales department is reporting that starting this morning the discount is miscalculated. We open Caladmin and select Sales as the application and Production as the environment. We're going to turn on the Search Documentation option, type Price Discount and click Search. We can see a function name is being displayed in the object list. We click on the object name and select the Changes tab to see the change history and we notice that the object was changed last night. To compare its versions, we mark the current and previous lines and click on the Compare Version icon. The content of the two objects is displayed and the segments with the difference are highlighted so we can easily see that the discount rate was changed. In order to restore the previous rate, we mark the line of the previous version of the object and click the restore icon. Great, we finished the task. Simply done with CalAdmin. Now, we are going to demonstrate the unbelievable speed of querying databases with CalAdmin. For this demonstration, we are using the database AdventureWorks of Microsoft. We would like to generate a report of the orders table. We actually don't know this database very well, but we do know that an order has details lines and has shipping address. So what we do is type HA for header and select the order header table. Switching to design view and to find the dates column, we type DAT. And as we double click the columns, they are being added to the select list. We can see that the table address appears twice in the related object list. We position the cursor over the names and the tooltip shows us that the first one is related to the billing address, but the second one to shipping address, which is the one that we actually want, so we click the second one. We mark the address and select the columns that we need. Next, we need the order details, so we enter DET and selecting the order details table. In the details, we are looking for quantity, so we are going to type Q and select the quantity column. We add the product table to the joins and select the product name. Now we can easily run the query and export it to Excel. So easily done with Caladmin. You know it will actually take hours to demonstrate to you the amazing functionality of Caladmin. It is really hard to believe that all of it comes in a single software. Within a click distance you can know what is going on in your database. All the tables are listed alongside the number of lines and space they are using. Here we can see that someone created a temporary table that consumes a lot of space. With Calumny and change management, we can find right away who is the culprit. Or with a glance, you can see the structure of a table, display and edit the documentation for this table, and even the documentation and business rules for every single column. 
If you do not have a sophisticated software like CalAdmin to document your databases online, you are wasting a lot of time and money. CalAdmin is the simplest way to preserve and share information about your databases that are probably going to be in use for decades. The same with documentation. If you are not using a data dictionary, you are wasting a lot of time. With CalAdmin you can have passive and active data dictionary. Here we are using the data dictionary to define the new table and thus ensuring uniformity of column definition for all the tables in the database or even across all the databases in the organization. You are welcome to download the free version of CalAdmin from the website and start working more efficiently. Good luck!